Thanks, Frank, for sitting down. The theme of our annual leadership meeting this year is Revenue the Next Wave. Can you elaborate on what that means to you as the Chief Consumer Engagement Officer? Sure. You know, it's, it's interesting because a lot of times people think of marketing as the black box and, and you know, you put something into the marketing group and creative things happen and then outcomes, you know, commercials and social media campaigns and it all seems mysterious. I think now the demand is that marketing actually turn on value. It actually has to provide some value to the transaction, provide a premium uh, for above commodity pricing, or lead to greater transactions with the most loyal consumers. If you don't provide that value today, I think uh, you know marketing will be in jeopardy. So, so today the question is, how do you make that connection? And I think it's moving from this idea of speaking to consumers to actually engaging them in meaningful experiences. And that's one reason why I changed the title uh, to uh, consumer engagement. I want the focus to be purely on that. How do we engage our consumers in meaningful experiences with our brands? So you're speaking here today about social engagement, the new paradigm. How do you evangelize the importance of social media throughout the Pepsi organization? You know, fortunately, I don't have to do it all myself. Uh, we have uh, other teams who have someone working on social media specifically. The brand managers are building broad uh, brand campaigns. And so everyone's aware of the general importance of social media. <clears throat> what I try to do is, is to expand their thinking about social media and social networks. And so what I try to do is, is, is to shift the thinking from you know, the latest, greatest platform or the latest, greatest tool to thinking about how are people connected to each other and how do we send messages through that. You know, it's, it's that whole six degrees of separation, you know, which is really true. We find that over and over that's true. But more importantly, the three degrees of influence that everybody has. You know, we, th we think about these influencers and you think that they're the special people who, who are living on the Lower East Side and, 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 you know, and they're doing cool things in clubs and they're, and they're, they're you know, moving and shaking and, and they're doing things that, we, that are mysterious to us. But everybody, on some level, is an influencer. How do we map that social network and tap into it? That's what I try to evangelize, to think more broadly so you're not caught up in always reacting to the next great platform. You're actually thinking more broadly about the opportunity and plugging the platforms into that. Why did you decide to attend this year's annual leadership meeting? You know, a couple of reasons. One, um, the topic, you know, revenue, the next wave. I, I, I actually think that is the heart of what we should all be thinking about right now. As marketers, we have to think about revenue and how to monetize all these great things that we're doing. And, but more importantly, how to show everyone else within our organizations the connection between what we're doing and the value that they see on the shelf or in the store. That's the first piece. The second piece is just look at everyone who's attending here. Great speakers, great attendees, wonderful conversations. Even, even today, this morning, before I even spoke, wonderful conversations and, and just great uh, dialogue about all the issues that we're struggling through. And, and for me, the best way to work through that is to talk to other people, other thinkers and other doers who are in this space. And, and IAB has managed to bring them all here in this one location. How has the IAB's work impacted your business? Yeah. Well, I mean, I, IAB, for, for me, um, we, we, we look at the IAB as a source of, of uh, bringing people together, thinkers and doers together, to discuss things of interest to us. And so, so for us, we, we've turned to the IAB mostly around social media ideas. Um, you saw Jury from Blog Her introduced us uh, here, but um, we actually first met Jury here at IAB, and, and that led to a relationship. Um, there's Wenda um, Millard Brown, um, who's, who's a good friend, and we just reconnected here. And so, for me, the, the greatest influence has been the ability to connect to other thinkers and doers so that we can actually work through these problems together. These are really complex problems that we're facing today. And I don't think any one company or any one person can handle it alone. But if we continue the conversation and we share best practices and we share the struggles and we share the victories that we have, I think through that, we all get through it together. And um, for me, IAB has been that, that central place where, where we can get together to have those kinds of conversations. Frank, thank you very much. Thank you.